what's going on guys it's that it's YGO here today and I want to bring you guys my first place deck profile today for the Yu-Gi-Oh day playmat I took I went undefeated today with Attic Nisters and I ended up winning this beautiful beautiful King's Court playmat along with pulling a ulti Hauka Fibrax uh, I also got my invite today for the next remote duel um, event. I don't know if it's an extravaganza, but I'm just going to assume that it's just the remote duel event coming up. So I'm super, super stoked about that. Uh, it's my very first top, especially with this deck. And I'm going to go ahead and just hop right into this and show you guys what I played today. Also, the really nice field center for the uh, new card coming out of King's Court. Um, anyways, enough chitter-chattering. We're going to get right into this. Uh, starting off with our three monsters, our play starters, our three copies of Aichichi, and three copies of Bakari Adagnister. So both of these cards are your one-card starters. Uh, Aichichi is your um, Rota, and this is your Stratos. I mean, they essentially both do the same thing. They both search into each other. Uh, this card searches out to this, this card searches this. Uh, so ultimately, you're running six copies of each card um, and they're super easy to get all your combo pieces going. Like the deck is just absolutely bonkers. Uh, one card combos are insane. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into our hand trap lineup. I'm only running nine hand traps. So Ash Blossom, Droll and Lockbird, and Infant Impermanence. Uh, the Ash Blossoms and the Drolls and the Imperms, absolutely great. I uh, tested this deck out on Wednesday at one of our locals down here. Uh, the Droll came up a lot in those matchups. Uh, I think we resolved Droll and Lockbird a total of five times in the matches that we had. Uh, but today, didn't even see the Drolls at all. I ended up seeing the Ashes and the Imperms, which helped me out against a Tri Brigade matchup. Uh, the guy was really really cool really really skilled with the deck uh that deck's really good too it's just sad to see that dryden's gone uh but see ya uh anyways moving on for our one of parts for the rest of the core is Do doyan bururu hiari gechiri and denmari so what these cards do is when doyan is normal or special summoned I, you can target one Adagnister monster in your graveyard, level 4 or lower, add it to your hand. Uh, if it's sent to the graveyard for the link summon of a Cybers monster, you can grab back one of your AI Speller traps. So essentially it's a monster reborn. It's kind of, it's exactly like Kagari. So it's really nice to have like that. A lot of people run two copies of it, but I think running one is fine. Also, if you notice that I'm not running a single copy of Parallel Deck Seed, do not miss it at all. This deck is so consistent now, even without it. A lot of people might disagree with me, but, you know, personal preference. Uh, Bururu is your Foolish Burial for the deck. Um, and also, if it's sent to the graveyard for the Synchro Summon of a Cybers monster, the material that was used for it, you can summon it back. So it's it's really nice to do a lot of that kind of stuff. And um, Bururu is just used to dump either, you know, your Gachiri or your Don Mari to the graveyard. Um... Your Dan Mari is more of the important combo combo piece into the deck than your Gachiri. It's just another extender. Dan Mari is like, you know, the super important one for the deck to help you get more negates going off. It's literally just your hot red. Um, Hiari is just another name to extend off to. And it, you can use it to tribute itself or any other Adagnister monster on the field to search out your Gachiri or your Dan Mari. Uh, Gachiri is just used for more extending and it also helps protect your uh, Dark Templar so you don't get hand trap. Um, so we're going to go right ahead into our spell lineup. Uh, so yeah, because we're not, like I said, we're not running Parallel Deck Seed, so there's no need to, you know, run that. This deck, the way I have it going, is just meant to punch and go right for the kill. I don't need the extra bodies. I just need more names to extend into rather than opening up with Parallel Deck Seed because, yeah, I think it's kind of a brick, even though it's good. Like I said, most people will disagree, but personal preference. So starting off with the important combo lines of your deck, I meet you and sign at mining. So 
Oh, hint. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I meet you came up a lot of the times today. Uh, I saw it in almost every single hand, especially with sign at mining. I've opened up today, at least with double mining and a I meet you, or at least one copy of each. So seeing both these cards are great. And you, this is searchable Rota off of your uh, Picari. So this, this, like I said, this card is essentially another three copies of either your Achichi or your Picari. Uh, it's really, really nuts. And sign at mining, just, you know, standard for any cyber deck. Now we're going to be moving on to the removal part of my deck. So we're running triple copies of Twin Twister. I opted to play this instead of uh, the Parallel Deck Seed and Nibiru, just because um, theory, theory, theoretically that this deck is almost like Striker in a sense, because um, you need to have no monsters in your main monster zone in order to resolve your field spell and to special summon out. So, you know, running the Nibiru hurts you more than it helps, no matter what you may think, how good of a card it is, this format. So I'm just running the Twisters to deal with a lot of back row, especially Striker since it's coming back, especially with Engage coming. Oh, well, that Engage is here. Uh, then we're running two copies of Idol Reborn, the Monster Reborn of the deck. Um, searchable, it's good. Um, seen it a couple times today. Kind of helped. Uh, two copies of Ignister Island. Sorry for the glare. Uh, this card, perfectly fine to run at two. I see a lot of people are running this at three with the terraforming, but two is just as good, I think. I had no issue. Deck was super consistent with just two. I never had a problem not seeing it. Um, then we're running our two copies of Forbidden Droplets. Um, I'm working on trying to get a third copy at some point, but for now, two droplets is fine. Uh, this card came in clutch today against my Dryatron matchup hitting the, uh, their X seed. I, I can't even pronounce its name. Not going to even waste, not even going to make an attempt to see it. Um, so there's that. Uh, for the one of we're running one called by the grave and one copy of eye contact. Uh, eye contact is like the MVP. This is honestly my favorite Ignister card ever just because it's a pot of greed and it just recycles your island. And then finally for the last set of traps in the deck are three copies of solemn strike. So like I said before, earlier on in the main deck, I don't run parallel to exceed and I replaced the exceed with this. And then the twisters got replaced with the Nibiru deck runs beautifully. So smooth. Um, I have no complaints with the build. Um, a lot of, a lot of really good matches today. Um, I don't really have much of a side deck. Didn't really side today. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump into the extra deck going to kind of be kind of a short video i think uh, so standard for extra deck is two copies of your dark infant at ignister uh, this card's the card that searches out your field spell and it's also in line of combo uh, so like a lot of you know what this card does because you know it's already been around for a few few weeks now um, but yeah this helps you get into your link six plays easier uh, one copy of lingeribo um, I used this card a couple times today, but I never actually got to use its effect to negate traps. But it came up. Just another name to summon off of a token that you bring off of your Link 6. Uh, Cybers Wicked, another part of your combo piece. Uh, Splash Mage, also another combo line. Um, and then the last Link 2 is Update Jammer. Uh, obviously, it's just for the Access Code Talker combos. Um, this card... <laughs> I I got stopped today and from going into my update jammer, but I ended up being able to play through a Imperm, Ash, and a Droll. Thankfully, I had the call for the Droll. I didn't really care too much for the Ash. Didn't really hurt me. I was still able to go to access code. I just wasn't able to get that double attack, which is fine. Uh, then the Link 3s, one copy of Templar, one copy of Fire Phoenix, and one copy of Transcode. Uh, Fire Phoenix, I went into once today. But he's mainly just in here to search your Achichi off of. You don't ever really need him that bad. The only two cards that you actually need to use in your, your line of combos are your Dark Templars and your Transcodes. Mm. Then for the last draw of the Link 4s, we're running Mick Knight Crusade Avermax and Access Code Talker. So this card might actually just end up being ultimately cut because, not, you know, 9 times out of 10, I don't ever go into the Avermax lock to lock my opponent out of doing battles. 
So it's just going to be another spot that I take out. It's probably going to become dark fluid, if anything. Uh, access code talker is just so good. <laughs> it's just free wins all day. Uh, then the best card, because, you know, whenever you summon this card, people are like, um, excuse me, a link six. Uh, this is just big boss monster, big wall. Um, it just can be, it can be outed by Kaijus and unfortunately Cyber Dragon, you know, but it's all good. And then for our synchros, we're running Quantum and Wind Pegasus. Never made this once today, but it's just in there just in case. Especially if we go second, we can just pop our opponent's back row. Quantum Dragon, so good. So good paired up with the Link 6 or just any Link. And then the last card in our extra deck is Light Dragon Adagnister, uh, the really crappy version of Dengirsu. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it's kind of a short video. Um, I'm sorry that I kind of sped through this today, but I just, you know, super excited about everything with the upcoming invitation the up with the invite of the upcoming uh remote duel uh super stoked about that so um you know i'll keep you guys posted on what happens with that and you know as always thank you guys so much for watching uh like and subscribe i hope you guys enjoy this profile have an awesome Yu Gi Oh day like i did